You're watching Peel Slowly and See. We're about to begin peeling with our first film of the night. Last summer, the unthinkable happened. The Velvet Underground, Lou Reed, John Cale, Sterling Morrison, and Mo Tucker reformed. As they toured Europe, we followed them and asked them some deep and probing questions. Why had the band, famed for falling out, come back? Curious, weren't we all? One, two, managed to be a cult band and be a big cult band, but that's what we are in fact. If there is such a thing, we're the only example of it. Somebody from the record company pointed out to me that in fact we didn't sell anything before and all the shows are filled with uh, young people because the records are selling now, 25 years after the fact. Curious. four people sort of re-establishing a friendship that hasn't been there for a while. That is progressing between Lou and I. It's a lot different now from when we first started the rehearsals in New York. Did you set out on this tour with any um, expectations that have been overturned for you? Have you been surprised by the reaction? Well, I, I kind of thought that something would happen, but I never expected it to be on this scale. And I'm always cautiously optimistic about the results and that's slowly being eroded very cautiously though, but I mean it's, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a very pleasant surprise. So what's being eroded? The, the, the caution or the optimism? The caution is being eroded, yes. <laughs> Ouais, c'était assez génial. Il n'y avait rien d'autre comme ça à ce moment. Euh, et puis, euh, je ne pense pas qu'il n'y aurait jamais rien d'autre pareil non. non plus. Well, none of us approach this tour with the idea of a new Velvet career. Um, you know, that's not my idea either. This was to be a very a special thing for us to have fun for once. <laughs> and also in a way to... Um, sort of to give people, all these people have been buying our records all this time and paying the rent, <laughs> give them a chance to finally see us. Oh, that's the music, it's einfach with which man sich identifies. Einfach, man lebt in einer Stadt, man lebt in Berlin, die sehr hart ist eigentlich in Bezug auf Drogen, auch Gewalt, die in Velvet Underground Songs eigentlich sehr rüberkommen. In a very general sense, we can't be uh, 
a nostalgic representation in the 60s because we were generally uh, perceived as being something that ran counter to the, the hyped up uh, social and political movements at the time. We were never active participants in uh, any political cause or uh, social uh, daydreaming. We, uh, we played in a, in a band and uh, had songs about things that we saw around us. And uh, it was not intended as a, a lifestyle for people to adopt. Uh, had no credos, no, uh, no sets of rules. The only thing that we ever, we never expressed it, but uh, uh, in a sense we, uh, uh, I think, demystified rock and roll. Hudba Velvetu pro nás vytvářela prostor, ve kterém se dalo vlastně svobodně žít i v tom prostředí, ve kterém jsme. What does Willie Loman say in uh, Death of a Salesman? He's just a ship looking for a safe harbor. Yeah, we put a ship in the water and it turned out to be a turbo engine sub. It just took a while for it to land wherever it landed, but our, our view of the quality of what we did, I, I feel we're in an interesting situation where we're all alive to see history validated somehow. Not only us, but Andy's faith in us and our faith in ourselves the, uh, and the integrity that's gone into it and all these years never to betray it. We have time to point to as the uh, real judge of who or what did what first, best, and always. The proof is in the work, and the work is on record. <laughs>